Behold, the Lord will come and all his holy ones with him, and on that day there will be a great light. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask, Blessed Mary of a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord. Christ, have mercy. Christ. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Look with favor, Lord God, on our petitions, and in our trials grant us your compassionate help that consoled by the presence of your Son whose coming we now await, we may be tainted no longer by the corruption of former ways. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the prophet Isaiah. A shoot springs from the stock of Jesse, a Sion thrusts from his roots. On him the spirit of the Lord rests, a spirit of wisdom and insight, a spirit of counsel and power, a spirit of knowledge and of the fear of the Lord. The fear of the Lord is his breath. He does not judge by appearances, he gives no verdict on hearsay, but judges the wretched with integrity, and with equity he gives a verdict for the poor of the land. His word is a rod that strikes the ruthless. His sentences bring death to the wicked. Integrity is the loincloth round his waist, faithfulness, faithfulness the belt about his hips. The wolf lies with the lamb, the panther lies down with the kid. Calf and lion and cub feed together with a little boy to lead them. The cow and the bear make friends. Their young lie down together. The lion eats straw like, a, like the ox. The infant plays over the cobra's hole. Into the viper's lair the young boy, child puts his hand. They do no harm, no hurt, on all my holy mountain, for the country is filled with the knowledge of the Lord as the waters swell the sea. That day the root of Jesse shall stand as a signal to the peoples. It will be sought out by the nations, and its home will be glorious. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Justice shall flourish in his time and fullness of peace forever. Justice, Justice shall flourish in his time and fullness of peace forever. O oh God, give your judgment to the king, to a king's son, your justice, that he may judge your people in justice and your poor in right judgment. Justice, Justice shall flourish in his time and fullness of peace forever. In his days, justice shall flourish and peace till the moon fails. He shall rule from sea to sea, from the great river to earth's bounds. Justice shall flourish in his time and fullness of peace forever. For he shall save the poor when they cry and the needy who are helpless. He will have pity on the weak and save the lives of the poor. Justice shall flourish in his time 
and fullness of peace forever. May his name be blessed forever and endure like the sun. Every tribe shall be blessed in him. All nations bless his name. Justice, Justice shall flourish, flourish in his time and fullness, in the fullness of, of peace forever. Alleluia. Alleluia. Behold, our Lord shall come with power. He will enlighten the eyes of his servants. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Filled with joy by the Holy Spirit, Jesus said, I bless you, Father, Lord of heaven and of earth, for hiding these things from the learned and the clever and revealing them to mere children. Yes, Father, for that is what it pleased you to do. Everything has been entrusted to me by my Father, and no one knows that who the Son is except the Father, and who the Father is except the Son, and those to whom the Son chooses to reveal him. Then turning to his disciples, he spoke to them in private, Happy the eyes that see what you see, for I tell you that many prophets and kings wanted to see what you see and never saw it, to hear what you hear and never heard it. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Our Lord reveals to us the mysteries of the kingdom. If we are to receive uh, what this means and uh, to understand, uh, we must have that childlike trust and confidence in God. The proud are blinded uh, by their own sin, uh, but those who are humble, those who seek the Lord with true uh, humility, are able to uh, enjoy what has been revealed by the Lord. And that is the way that is taught to us, the way that we will uh, make uh, the path towards heaven. And, uh, in the season of Advent, we are called to recover, in a sense, uh, that childlike simplicity. The quietness of Advent is an appropriate time for us uh, to get back to the basics, to remember what we are truly preparing for. Uh, so much of the world gets into uh, frenetic pace at this time, and uh, if we get uh, caught up in that, then of course we will miss out on what is truly being given to us through this season of Advent, an opportunity to renew our faith, to start again this year from the Lord, and to truly uh, come to a deeper understanding and appreciation of the gift of our faith. And so we might ask for what the prophet Isaiah says. Uh, that spirit that rests on the Lord, that we too may share in that, a spirit of wisdom and insight, a spirit of counsel and of power, a spirit of knowledge and of the fear of the Lord. Let's pray that during this season of Advent we will be still, we will be quiet, we will listen to what the Lord has to say to us and that we may be filled with his spirit that the year ahead will be given over to him.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pleased, O Lord, with our humble prayers and offerings, and since we have no merits to plead our cause, come, we pray, to our rescue with the protection of your mercy, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he assumed at his first coming the lowliness of human flesh, and so fulfilled the design you formed long ago, and opened for us the way to eternal salvation, that when he comes again in glory and majesty, and all is at last made manifest, we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which now we dare to hope. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. To you, therefore, most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant her peace, to guard, unite, and govern her throughout the whole world, together with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Peter, our Bishop, and all those who holding to the truth and on the Catholic and apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants. And all gathered here whose faith and devotion are known to you, for them we offer you the sacrifice of praise, or they offer it for themselves and all who are dear to them for the redemption of their souls in hope of health and well-being and paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true. In communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever-Virgin Mary, mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, James, John, Thomas, James, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon, and Jude, Linus, Cletus, Clement, Sixtus, Cornelius, Cyprian, Lawrence, Chrysogonus, John and Paul, Cosmas, and Damien, and all your saints, 
We ask that through their merits and prayers, in all things we may be defended by your protecting help. Therefore, Lord, we pray, graciously accept this oblation of our service, that of your whole family. Order our days in your peace, and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation, and counted among the flock of those you have chosen. Be pleased, O God, we pray, to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable, so that it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands, and with eyes raised to heaven to you, O God, his almighty Father, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took this precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands, and once more giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us, Saviour of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the blessed passion, the resurrection from the dead, and the glorious ascension into heaven of Christ, your Son, our Lord, we, your servants, and your holy people, offer to your glorious majesty from the gifts that you have given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance and to accept them as once you were pleased to accept the gifts of your servant Abel the Just, the sacrifice of Abraham our father in faith and the offering of your high priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer we ask you, Almighty God, command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel to your altar on high in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us who through this participation at the altar receive the most holy body and blood of your Son may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. Remember also, Lord, your servants who have gone before us with the sign of faith and rest in the sleep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ, a place of refreshment, light, and peace. To us also, your servants, who those sinners hope in your abundant mercies, graciously grant some share and fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, Marcellinus, Peter, Felicity, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, and all your saints. 
Admit us, we beseech you, into their company, not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon through Christ our Lord, through whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord. You sanctify them, fill them with life, bless them, and bestow them upon us. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. The just judge will bestow a crown of righteousness on those who eagerly await his coming.
Let us pray. Replenished by the food of spiritual nourishment, we humbly beseech you, O Lord, that through our partaking in this mystery, you may teach us to judge wisely the things of earth and hold firm to the things of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.